Alright guys, a lot of you guys said that you wanted the new Kessel A360X par reading. But first off, we got to get the wife some corals, or actually have her come down here, grab some corals. If not, I'm going to die. So, I need to get her some corals and let her pick out some corals. We have all kinds of corals in here. Um, and I need to do an update on my frag tanks, but... Uh, we're going to give her a chance to get some corals. We're going to get those glued in and stuff like that. But I think we're going to do the par reading first and then put the corals in so things ain't in the way and I'm not knocking stuff over. So here you guys go. Let's get the Kessel A360X par readings for her aquarium. Let's go. All right, guys. We got the par meter in. You guys all know we use the uh, Epigee 510. Like I said, this is hands down one of my favorite pieces of equipment when it comes to getting par. So we're going to be utilizing this, and also um, let me grab. so we can see the new Kessel X controller so it's not going to show this way I will have to kind of like kind of show you guys in some kind of aspect like this or just take my word for it when we make changes so the current system the current placement of the Kessel height is about roughly eight and a quarter inches off the water. Right now, her setting, let's go to program, here, here. Um, so right now, guys, she's running about 30% color. Let me see if I can get this in the camera to focus. Um, there we go somewhat let me see there we go 30 percent color 45 percent intensity 20 violet one red one green that is of the current settings so we're going to change this right now so we have her current settings and we're going to make this at a hundred percent with the wife's help she's going to hold the par uh, meter to show you guys numbers while I move the wand in the aquarium all over the place so for you guys that are picking up the new Kessel A360X this is to help you guys out or if anybody's thinking about using Kessel A360X in the future You'll have a video of somewhat, if you don't own a par meter, to kind of gauge on where things are at. So let's get to it when it comes to the par. So, honey, I need you to hold. So if it goes off, just click it on, and that's it. So come over here on this side, look through the uh, camera. And then you read off the numbers as well. So that, that will be fine. Okay. So you read me the numbers. And then also let me dial up your system here to 100%. So we're going to, as you guys can see, color. You want to be able to see where you're moving it too, right? What's that? You want the camera to be able to see this and where you're putting it? Uh, yeah, just kind of, so they can see too, yeah. Right now, I'm just turning up all the colors, violet, red, green, color, intensity, everything to 100%. And then we'll do it in 25 increments, meaning we'll go to 75, 50, 25. Just so people can see that. All right, so we got all that there. Get on the other side here. All right, par meters on. Mhm. Mm 
All right, so eight inches right underneath the water surface. What's the number? Splashing mm, around 375. All right, so right there is right before it breaks the surface of the water. Dead center of the 385. Test. So 385. 400. All right, straight down. This is about halfway of the tank. What do you have here? 118. How much? 118. 118 par? Mm-hmm. How about now? This is the back. I'm trying to hold this off to the side. This is like a task. I know. That's why I said <laughs> I need some help. Because you're actually blurry, is that okay? Because it's focusing on this par meter screen, just so you know. So it's got the focus here, which means you're blurry. Yeah. Okay, so right now we're at 115. Okay, so that's on the back rock on the back glass. Here's the very top of the rock on the back glass. What's that? 131, 33. Okay. And right above the anemone. 87. That's right at the top. And then right at the bottom of the tank. Mm, 110. 110. So that's 100% on all colors. What is it to the left of the tank? Mm. About 96. No. 112. Okay. So just over in the outskirts edges. How about here? 125. Okay. So that's right and left numbers. Midway of this aqua top tank, 40 breeder. And the back. So we did everything there. That is at 100%. 100%. So let's go down to, um, let's go down to 75% on all colors, intensity, and um, yeah, all parameters. Once again, guys, this is eight and a quarter inches off the water as well so you guys know and if there's more you guys if I miss something you like this to do another one we can do that it's not a problem just leave me leave it down in the comment section down below I don't want to make this too long but let me see if I can get this in the camera so you guys can see everything's at 75% Let me see. There you guys go. Got to tap the screen. Everything's at 75%. Par. So, we'll get this par again. 75%. Oh, by the way, right at the light, should be banging 4,000. Yep. All right. That's right at the light, 4,000. Right underneath the surface. Mm. 400, 390, 385. Okay, about the same. Okay, at 75%. So we'll go straight to the back glass. Um, uh, halfway. 120, 130. 130, right underneath the light. 127. Okay, about the same. To the left of the light. 99. 99. 106. All right. All right. How about over here? About 130. Okay. So one's a little harder than the other. So I don't know if that means this is off a little bit. We'll figure it out. All right. Try it again over here. 
120. One fifteen. Okay. So you got that down at the bottom of the sand bed, right in the same spot in front of the end. Mm, about one ten. Okay, and right above the NIM, about a quarter of the way up. Ninety four. Okay. So that's at uh seventy five percent. All right. Let's go 50%. Let's do this. Um, trying to do this as fast as possible. Um, one, okay, 50. Let's do 50s everywhere. That's colors and intensity, guys. Then I'll show you here in a second. We're at 50%, eight inches, eight and a quarter inches to be exact, off the water. So let me get this in here in this camera. So let's get the camera to focus on it. Bam, there you guys have it. We're now at 50% going to grab par. Also, guys, keep in mind, when it comes to lights, a lot of us really put too much light, I feel, on our corals. But, uh, hey, let's check this out. Right under the surface of the water now. Mm. Uh, about 280. About 280? All right, straight down, halfway. Mm, about 93. About 93. And then right above the anemone. About 70. And right at the floor. Mm, 80. 80. Okay, to the left of the tank. It's, mm, 80. And to the right of the tank. 95. Okay, and to the top back of the rock midway of the tank. 94. Okay, so that gives us right under the surface, halfway, left and right, and the ground. Okay, so let's go down to 25% all channels. And the only reason I'm doing all channels because a lot of people had the old Kessels and didn't have control over violets and all this stuff. The new Kessel opened it up, give you a little bit more control over some of the, over the color spectrums and stuff like that. So I'm just treating this as if you have no control. Um, just you know, par with any everything that's capable that that's on here that you can play with. Just make things easier. You can fine tune things yourself to your liking as far as what you're viewing. So everything is going down to 25% across the board. And let's show you guys 25%. There you guys go. You see everything's at 25%. All right. Thanks, honey, for helping out. Makes it a lot easier trying to give people this par. I don't have a steady hand, but... <laughs> oh, that's fine. They can see they it, get right? get the memo, yeah. Okay, so right under the surface of the water. About 138. 138. Midway, dead center. 43. 43, right above the anemone. 30, 32. That's a quarter of the way from, um, off the bottom and now on the bottom. 36. 36, left, left of the tank, uh, midway. 35. To the right of the tank, midway. 40. Six forty-seven. Okay, and dead top. 
on top of the rock in the center of the tank, back glass. 45. Okay. So, that is um, the settings. All right, guys, real quick, had to bring this back in. Dog, there was a package at the door. So, where we were doing is one more on 15% everything. Let me get the camera to focus. There you go. So, the controller's at 15% uh, everything. So, Let's uh, do the reading. And what just happened? Whoops. Okay, everything's at 15%. Sorry. All right, so right underneath the surface. Seventy-five. Seventy-five. Mid, mid, uh, straight down, uh, middle of the tank. Twenty-four. Twenty-four, right above the anemone, uh, quarter way off the bottom. Seventeen. Seventeen, and right at the bottom. Twenty. Twenty. Okay, left, uh, midway, uh, up the tank. Left of the tank. 19. And midway to the right of the tank. 26. 26. And to the back of the tank, um, halfway up. 25. Off the back glass. 25. All right. So that is it far as par. So... All right, guys. So as you guys see, that is the par reading. This is, uh, let me just give you guys measurements real quick, just for records. So in case you guys want to know what this is going to do, we're eight and a quarters off the water, but the tank is um, front to back is basically 21 and three quarters by... 21 and three quarters um, box, as you guys can tell. And then we'll go one more thing, and we'll go 20. So it's 21 three quarters all, all the way around. So that is this uh, this box here. This is an Aqua Top 40 gallon. So as you guys seen, I did the par readings. Now there might have been some something that I missed or some more specific things that you wanted to know when it comes to the par reading, please leave it down in the comment section. Um, this was um, kind of fun. I needed some help with the wife to get this done. I want to hurry up and get this out to you guys. You guys have been asking me what par is this like um, giving off. So I did 100%, 75, 50, 25, and 15% par readings. At the very surface of the top, midway, a quarter off, off the bottom, at the tip of the, uh, where the bubble, rose bubble tip is, and at the sand bed on all readings, left and right of the tank, and as you see this rock structure, straight dead center of it, right at the top as well. So I think that's um, good as far as for what you guys can see, uh, as far as par, give you guys some ideas. Of if you're going to buy the new Kessel A360X on what the capabilities are. A lot of times I feel like we, we really do run way more par than what we need. Um, I like to enjoy my tank, so I like to have sometimes have things at a really lower par and just run it longer through, you know, 12 hours uh, of light cycle. So keep that in mind. Hopefully this guy, uh, this helps you out, guys. If you guys have any questions or anything like that or concerns, leave it down in the comment section down below. And with that being said, uh, I'll see you guys on the next video.